Hey everybody, welcome back to Going Ballistic. We are your research and destruction channel and today we are going to be doing some more research for you guys. So we got these clear ballistic blocks here from Clear Ballistics, thank you guys. And in this short video here, we shot these blue 9mm training rounds and they did just over 3,000 feet per second, which kind of blew our minds, so that launched this entire video. So we wanted to see what they do in ballistic gel and we're going to show you today. We didn't want to just limit it to that one so we got some other different rounds here that were sent to us as well as these training rounds uh, from one of our subscribers. We thank you very much for those and these are the rounds we have for you. So we have the Extreme Defender, looks like a Phillips head screwdriver on the tip. We got these other interesting ones here. These are Glazier, I believe I'm, if I'm pronouncing it right, uh, safety slugs. Now if you look at this picture here they have the polymer tip and then the projectile is actually filled with a whole bunch of little BBs. So that'll be very interesting to see what it does on this ballistic gel. And then we got these gecko rounds. Um, these are interesting rounds. I was trying to find this specific round online. I couldn't find it. So if you guys know what this round is exactly, please comment below and let me know. It has a small hole in it. It looks like the, the safety slug, but different. So we're gonna see what these do. Then we got the Novox rounds here. These are pretty interesting rounds. Uh, they have a two-part casing. I believe it's aluminum and nickel, and they're really light. They're more like a frangible round. They are a polymer copper blend of a projectile. And then again, we're gonna shoot the uh, blue training round. So these are the rounds we have for you. Remember, safety first, eyes and ears, let's get going. Okay, first one out of our CZ Scorpion is the Extreme Defender. All the way through, let's check it out. All right, that was cool, that one. I shot right here and it went through this 16 inch block like nothing and you heard it ding on the target. So that was pretty cool. Caught it on the high speed. We're doing a little over 8,000 frames per second and we got beautiful sunlight. So let's carry on, here comes the next one. Next is the Novox. We'll see if it'll live up to the 1700 plus feet per second. Here we go. All right, let's check it out. All right, so that one did do uh, over 1,700 feet per second, 1,766. Hit right here, right next to the other one. And uh, that one was doing about 15, over 1,500 feet per second. So uh, good test going on. That one, as you saw in the high speed camera, it went all the way through the 16 inch block. I probably should have lined up the two but I only have the two blocks and I don't want to waste everything uh, five rounds on the same block. So um, we may have to revisit this one with some uh, doubled up blocks to see how far they'll actually penetrate this gel from clear ballistics. So let's take a quick look at the trails going through and get on to the next round. All right, there you go. There are the two trails. A little bit of a side view there. Both went all the way through. All right, let's get on to the next. Okay, next one up, nine millimeter gecko. Whoo, 
I think I hit kind of the same spot. Let's check it out. Okay, that was weird. I think that round came apart because if you check right here, the camera I have set up in front of the Kronos got nailed and I think it was by that very tip. I don't know. And the chronograph only registered 809 feet per second, which was strange. So I'm going to do that one again. First, I'm going to show you the round over here in the gel and um, yeah, weird. Okay, I got this thing zeroed in apparently really good. I did it all on the target there, just testing it with the regular nine mil rounds. So these are all different weights. So they're going, I thought they would go everywhere. I was aiming up here. It came low. So one, two, th one, two, three. And it did not make it all the way through. There is the end of that bad boy. Okay, I'm gonna shoot one more round at this uh, same gel here. And I'll put a new camera up on the chronograph. Hopefully it won't hit it or the chronograph. So here we go. All right, second gecko round. See if I can hit it a little higher. Well, that was a little higher. Let's go check it out. No camera damage, <laughs> safe. All right, not sure what hit my camera, but there was the shot, a little higher. And exactly the same spot as the other. Very interesting, huh? All right, so far it's been a pretty interesting video. We are gonna get on to the last two before I lose all of my sunlight and the high speed is not as good. So now let's get on to the uh, safety slug. Here we go. Okay, safety slug on a fresh block of jail. Here we go. Clear, let's check it out. Check it out, 1,836 feet per second. Look at that, that is as far as it went in, but look at all those pellets. Man, oh, that would hurt. Definitely hurt. Pretty cool, don't know if there's, any better angle, but you guys can see that thing. Ooh, what a nasty round. Thanks to our subscriber for sending these rounds out. Um, this is a cool video. Hope you guys are enjoying it. Give it a thumbs up and just comment down there. Say, hey, Chris, what's happening? Hey, Justin, where are you in those ugly shorts? Anyways, on to the last round. Let's see how fast this little baby goes. Will it go another 3,000 feet per second and how far into the gel? Here we go. Okay, last one, blue training round. Let's see if it'll do over 3,000 feet per second. I turned the gel to give us a fresh surface. Here we go. Check that out, folks. 3341 and it did not <laughs> penetrate it oh that's funny so it hit right there i thought it blew through at first and then i'm like uh wait a minute it's just the belly button and lo and behold there it is so that was the impact side you can see some rifling right there Oh, very interesting. All right, I am gonna get just a few feet away from this thing. I'm only about six yards back, uh, but I'm gonna get right up close to this thing, shoot another one. So for you guys that think it's only going 300 feet per second, there's been a couple of you guys in the short video that said, no, it's only going 300 feet per second. Uh, that's not how the chronograph works. 
If it was going 300 feet per second, it would have said one, zero, one, one, then 300. It won't just put the three numbers in front of the one. So that's not how it works. It went over 3,300 feet per second. But if you got a big belly, you're okay. All right, so I'm gonna try this one up close. Last shot, here we go. All right, hopefully this doesn't bounce off and hit me in the head, but here we go. Right up close and personal. Same spot, and it bounced off. <laughs> okay, clear, let's check it out. Pretty much no difference from point blank. No, I wasn't going through a chronograph, but you know those were still going about 3,000 feet per second or faster, and the blubber stopped it. Barely even went farther than the last round. So there you go, folks. Pretty cool test. Uh, still comment below. Let me know what those gecko nine millimeter rounds, were they just a, a hollow point or, or what? Uh, destroyed my other camera, but <laughs> pretty funny. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to our patrons, all of you who support this crazy channel. We really appreciate it. Don't forget, we still have some $10 t-shirts left with the free laser engraved 50 cal brass all which were shot by justin and i on this channel uh just remember uh in the link in the description below if you go to buy a t-shirt there is a note to seller let us know your size in there and if we have it we'll send it if we don't we refund your money uh, we are getting new shirts still waiting for them to come in but thank you all for watching this video and we'll be back